Hi, this is Zazaniman, and I'm going to be showing you how to use sculpt mode in Blender. So it's actually pretty simple, but a um, mistake that you probably make. Let's size up this default cube. Um, there are a few mistakes you can make. So let's um, s go here and switch to sculpt mode. So if you start like this, you could um, add stuff. Um, this actually isn't really working because it's not high enough strength. Um, so yeah, some things, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And right now, you can see it's only adding on to this edge. It's not really adding on anywhere here. That's because I didn't subdivide it, which means there are only um, six vertices. So it's only changing six vertices. So what we want to do now is... Um, go ahead and c control Z forget we ever did that and now press W in the default and object mode um, actually you have to go into edit mode pressing tab press W subdivide or subdivide smooth I recommend subdivide subdivide smooth sort of does some funky stuff that's more complicated so press subdivide and you can see it made a bunch of uh, a vertice more per face and then you can just keep doing that and it'll look like this it'll look like a big cube made up a bunch of smaller cubes so now what you can do is switch on over to sculpt mode again and now um, strength you should be um, you can change the strength, but if you want to have drastic changes, you should probably put it all the way up. You can change the radius so it's smaller, so you can get little details. Or high, so you can just shape the general thing. I'm going to keep it at about... Um, I'm going to keep it at 30. And now I can just change some things. See, so you can subdivide it a little more if you want. But see, now it's just adding on to here. Now, if I want to subtract you just go here and press subtract and yep that works too so another thing you can do with this is auto smooth so you can do that while you're adding the subtracting or you can just auto smooth the whole thing so get rid of all the strength you can put on add or subtract and set the radius to something really big and it automatically smooths the whole cube. Um, you don't have to set it to that big if you want to smooth little parts, but this is actually a very useful tool. So auto smooth is very useful. And so now you can get some, if you want to get some smaller details, go into this mode, uh, lag, um, strength, up. You can't really do small details here because it's not subdivided enough, but Radius one is if you're doing something very complicated and you're going to be seeing it a lot. But so let's put the radius up, and as you can see, it's smoothing it out as you're doing this. And you sub can subtract, and yeah. So now if you tab back, tab, so go into object mode, it'll stay like that, and that's how you can create rocks and mountains and stuff in your game. So. Goodbye, I'll see you in the next episode.